The German ambassador stated that although Namibia is classified as an upper middle income country, the majority of the population lives in poverty. Christian Schlager said one of the contributing factors is the high rate of unemployment as a result of acute shortage of skills in some sectors because of poor quality of training programs. Therefore, the focus of the private is to further expand the cooperation into a priority areas of sustainable economic development. And Gretel Janabi, GIZ officer, delivered the ambassador's remarks. Because it only works in an environment where the economy uh, is uh, taking on a lot of responsibilities in the vocational education and training. It will build capacity in the vocational training sector, takes into account the cross-cutting issues of gender, HIV and AIDS, and the participation of people with disabilities. Agriculture and road construction are some of the areas parts to the agreement. Higher Education, Training and Innovation Minister said the agreement was necessary because it would strengthen the vocational education training to address social development challenges. In addition, Dr. Ita Kanji Murangi says it is also essential that NTA reviews and consolidate its curricula, adopt the best system in accrediting its programs to cut on high unemployment rates. It is these hard realities which should, I believe, propel us to even double up our efforts in developing a quality and accessible TVET system in Namibia that can actually open doors for many of our youth and women. Of course, men too. Morangi stated that for all this to succeed, stakeholders need to come on board in ensuring that programs rendered by the sector carries quality assurance.